Do you feel like this guy? Stuck on a math problem, not sure what to do, feeling frustrated because you just don't get it. Well, let me help you because you are not alone. Are you ready? All right, let's do this. Welcome back to another session. On this time, we're looking at graphing linear equations. Do you remember the formula for a linear equation? Well, let's see. If you guessed y equals mx plus b, you were correct. Now, the question is, do you remember what two important things here stand for? The m, which we looked at in a previous video, and today we're going to add in what does the b represent. So in the previous video we learned how to calculate m given two sets of points and we also learned how to determine the slope from a graph because that is what our m was. It was our slope. b is new today and what b represents is the y-intercept. The y-intercept is where does it cross this y-axis? So once again, our y-axis is this vertical axis that we see running down the middle of this graph. So we wanna find out or place a point where it crosses. So let's say your equation was y equals two over three x minus four. Well, when we graph a linear equation, we always start with graphing the y-intercept first because we need a starting point. So on the y-axis at minus four, here's our negatives on the y, there's our first point. From there, now I can create the slope of two over three. Did you remember that slope is equal to rise over run? Rise was how much you went either up or down. It is a vertical shift. It did not matter if I went up to or down to. In fact, let's do both. If I go up to, that's my rise. Now I have to run three. So I'm going to go up to and, well, does it make a difference if I run three to the right or three to the left? Absolutely it does. Because as you can see from this slope, it is a positive two over three. And if you remember from, again, our previous video, that positive slopes will have arrows that point up to the right. So I have to go to the right. If I went up two and three to the left, now my arrow would be pointing down. And you guessed it, that makes a negative slope. So I started on the y-intercept of negative four and I went two, there's my rise, and I went three to the right to get to another point that I can connect. Now, I said we can also go down to. It did not matter if we went up or down, but again, it does make a difference if you go left or right. Again, I'm trying to make a positive slope, so this time I would have had to go left, again, to have these points be pointing in a positive slope direction. Let's see if you got all that and let's try another question just like that. All right, here's a piece of graph paper. Let's see if you can graph y equals negative four over five x plus one. What is the first thing you need to put on your graph? If you guess starting at that y-intercept of one, you are correct. So let's go ahead and put a dot let's on all one on our y axis. There it is. Now that we have a starting point, we need to create a slope of negative four over five. Does not matter if we go up or down. Let's say we go up first. One, two, three, and four. Now it does matter if we go right or left. If I go five to the right and place my point here, Notice that that's going to be making an arrow that points up to the right, creating a positive slope. But this time, our slope is negative, so I can't go to the right. We must go up four and five to the left, so that that arrow is now pointing down 
in a negative direction, creating that negative slope like you're skiing down a hill. If I had gone down first four and created a rise of four, then I would have had to run five to the right in order to create that negative slope. So if you go up, then you go left. That creates a negative slope. So notice the directions are different depending on the slope you are trying to create. And that's simply how you graph a linear equation.